So you may have just went through and tried to go and set up something within your iPhone, like your Apple ID, and you try to create a new Apple ID on your iPhone. And for some reason, you're getting this type of pop-up that basically tells you that they could not create an Apple ID at this time. Now, this is an older styling of that particular layout, but the main reason why you may be running into this problem is usually due to some sort of Wi-Fi connection problem or your internet connection app working out well on your particular iPhone. So the very first thing I'd recommend doing is going inside of your internet settings or your you know, iPhone settings like this and going into either your Wi-Fi or cell connection settings of your particular iPhone and just double checking and verifying that your particular iPhone doesn't have any Wi-Fi connection problem errors. So double check that. You just want to make sure that's not a problem. And the majority of the time, that's probably all you're going to have to do. Now, if you do that and that's still not working or you're running into some problems here, the next thing I'd recommend doing here is just making sure that your iPhone is registered in the area that basically, you know, your Apple ID is you know, associated with. So sometimes if your iPhone region is different than the area, that the actual region that you're in, you may want to make sure you don't have a problem with that either. So make your way over to your iPhone settings. You want to click into general, click into date and time, and you want to make sure your time zone, your region and everything are basically set in the proper region that you're in. You can also go into language and region and make sure your region is set properly here too. On top of that, you may just want to make sure that the Apple servers aren't actually down or there's issues with the Apple servers. What you can do here is you can make your way over to a website called downdetector.com or isitdownrightnow.com. One of these types of websites will basically tell you what's up and what's down. And all you're going to have to do here is just go and make sure that nothing is actually you know, messed up on your particular Apple servers. And if something is actually down, you may just want to make your way here. And a lot of times that might end up fixing the problem too. If that's not working, you can try restarting your phone and you can try making the Apple ID on the internet browser. That's another way to fix this problem, but those are basically the main ways to go and fix it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.